Hello, welcome back to Tech Qualities. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing a motherboard replacement on the Optiplex 7070 Ultra uh, desktop computer. It's, this is not a very common um, business line desktop in the field. Um, I've probably seen two or three of them over the last year, year and a half. Uh, so I wanted to take the opportunity to capture this one to uh, kind of just um, demonstrate how we swap out a motherboard. Um, as you see the case is extremely thin. I think they designed these to fit in stands, monitor stands and stuff. So it's a completely hidden footprint. Zero fo footprint is what they call it. So, so once we get the, uh, the cover off, uh, we're going to move into disassembling and removing components. Uh, you can see here, we've got a single memory module here. We're going to remove the dim. Um, as you're removing screws and components, make sure you keep them organized in the space around you so you don't misplace or mix screws up from where, they, where they're going to be returned when you're putting the new motherboard in. Here we're removing the solid state drive, M.2 solid state. Make sure the thermal pad stays intact on the bottom of that. It helps dissipate heat away from the, the hard drive. Uh, here we're removing the screw for the Wi-Fi card. Now in most instances when, when I'm removing, either from a laptop, I like to keep those antennas intact and plugged in. In this case, we've got one antenna that goes to one side and one goes to the other side. So obviously we're going to have to remove one of those antennas to anchor the whole thing out of the way. So I remove the black one and just kind of grab the white one and pull it back up. Anytime you can keep those antennas intact, it saves time when you're reassembling. Over here, we're removing the speaker, or I'm sorry, the uh, fan, CPU fan uh, connector. And um, now we're going to remove the four anchor screws. There's a screw in each corner, four of them, uh, that anchor in the uh, motherboard. And, uh, and then we're removing an anchor screw for the heat sink, which is right there in the bottom corner. These are a little tricky to figure out as this, this is maybe one, I hadn't seen one of these in a while. I was trying to remember how do I get this thing up and out <laughs> and I found there's a little bracket there, a little clip and so I'm putting pressure on it and then the whole thing, the fan assembly, heat sink assembly and the motherboard come out together. Now we expose the um, four screws, we take the four screws out that hold the heat sink assembly in place. And after we get those out, we're going to take an alcoholic wipe and clean off the thermal grease off of the heat sink. You don't need to worry about the old one, the old uh, processor up right above, because that one's going back to the vendor. Um, now that uh, we get all these, I'm going to swap and start working on my new one, on my new motherboard. So we're kind of doing everything in reverse now. And you can see I'm applying the thermal grease. Uh, don't overdo it on the thermal grease. You don't need a whole lot uh, as you apply, as you you know put your new heat sink back on there and you apply the screws in order. Uh, they're usually labeled one through four. So you know try to tighten the screws in the order that you do. It's kind of like putting a wheel on a car, <laughs> the lug nuts. You want to do them in a star fashion. Well, in this case, you want to do a cross fashion and then Go to the other two and, and cross the other way. So, okay, we get our heat sink on there. Now we're ready to uh, start placement back into the frame. Always anchor your ports in first. You see on the left side there, I put the ports in first and then I make sure that as I'm lowering it down that all of my screw holes are aligned between the motherboard and the um, and the casing. And I'm putting the fan in, I'm just kind of moving things around, making sure I'm not pinching any wires, making sure the wires are up and going through the little rubber grommets that are in place. And so I replaced my heat sink screw, in the bottom right corner there. Now I'm gonna put my my fan screw, my fan connector back in, speaker connector, and third wire there. Honestly, I can't remember what that wire was for. 
might be an LED or a, you know, an LED that lights up or indicates power LED, something, something of that nature. The point is, is take note of all your cables that you're disconnecting, make sure you get them put back in place. probably an internal speaker. Reinsert your memory module. We're going to put the Wi-Fi card back in place. I'm making sure that the wires come up. There's a little groove in the, in the notch in the side of the motherboard. You want to make sure that it's channeled through that groove there. You're not pinching any cables. These antennas can be tricky at times to reconnect. Sometimes it helps to position the entire thing. Oftentimes it, I'll, I'll twist the whole thing around to the left so I get a good handle with the left hand. Sometimes you can use um, some needle nose pliers from your toolkit uh, to kind of hold it in place. And uh, once you get it centered over that little connector, I use the tip of my screwdriver to uh, push it down and click it in place. Now, I've seen a lot of techs struggle with those and sometimes they got bad eyesight, they can't see very well and, and they'll just mash that thing and that's not a good idea because they'll end up bending the connectors and um, you know, damages the Wi-Fi card and or the antenna connector and uh, then you gotta go back to the vendor and get replacement parts. So after getting the Wi-Fi in place I'm putting the solid state M.2 card back in place uh, throw the screw in there and now I'm putting my four anchor screws for the motherboard back in and it's time to reassemble the outer casings um, Took me a little while to figure out the order in which it went back together, but uh, you know, pay attention to how you take it apart so you know how it goes back in. Really appreciate you guys watching. Um, just a reminder: uh, Tech Qualities makes our videos for the purpose of, of training new hardware technicians. Um, we've we've taught classes at uh, universities uh, for hardware technician, and really, it's just giving a uh, visual. Uh, but it's not only for them, it's for anyone that's replacing components uh, that, that uh, might need a YouTube video to help them along. Um, please uh, hit subscribe at the end of this and uh, keep an eye out. We, we're putting new videos out frequently right now. We're fairly new on YouTube, but uh, we'd love to have you join us. And, uh, and you'll see a lot more of these technical videos. Appreciate you. You guys have a lovely day.